quickly. Till when should I continue to make dua? I made dua for a couple of weeks, for a couple of months, a couple of years, and nothing happened. And I've read that some prophets would make dua and on the spot they would be answered. Subhanallah. You're not a prophet. They're, therefore, don't have that kind of expectation. Yet, even prophets, Allah Azza wa may delay answering their dua. For example, <clears throat> Prophet Ayyub, peace be upon him, he was tested by Allah a calamity that, bestow, that was bestowed upon him where he had illnesses all over his body. All of his family died except his wife. And he became poor after being, uh, 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 after being rich. And he remained in this calamity for 18 years, 1-8. And then Allah Azza wa Jal restored all of his favors and blessing upon him. And he was patient. And Allah complimented him as being patient. So you're not a messenger. And definitely you've not, you've not been making dua for 18 years. Secondly, it is a big mistake that when we ask Allah for something, we think that this is the best thing. And either my way or the highway, either it's going to happen, which means Allah Azza wa loves me and favors me, or it doesn't happen, which means I'm cursed, I'm jinxed, Allah doesn't love me, why does Allah hate me, and such nonsense that people talk about. And this is wrong. I ask Allah Azza wa Jal for a beautiful car. And Allah does not give me a car. I shouldn't be sad. Because when I ask for something, the Prophet told us in an authentic hadith alayhi salatu wasalam, that Allah Azza wa Jal gives us one of three. Answers us in one of three ways. Oh Allah, give me a car. Boom. The car is in front of my house. A gift from a brother. A gift from work. You, know, you never know. This is one. The second. Oh Allah, give me a car. Allah doesn't give me a car. But it was predestined that there will come an illness that would put me in hospital and the hospital bill would be 100,000 riyals. Exactly the amount of that car. And Allah Azza wa Jal deflected that illness and it did not come to me. I don't know that this was predestined, it was going to happen to me. But because I'm making dua, Allah Azza wa Jal took it away from me. Number three, oh Allah, grant me a car. Open the door, there's no car outside. Look around, there's no illness that was coming and it was deflected away. Then where is it? Well, you'll find it on the day of judgment, when it's the day of reckoning. And you know that you have done X amount of good deeds. But you will come and find X to the power of five or ten. And you say, subhanAllah, I didn't do all of this. And Allah would tell you, yes, but you asked on that day for a car. And it was stored for you as good deeds here on the day of judgment. And this is what, why the companion said, Prophet of Allah, if this is the case, then we will make a lot of dua. Allah, and the Prophet said, Allah is even greater than that. So you make dua and you will find it with the grace of Allah. So you should not give up hope, keep on making dua until it happens or you add much more to your good deeds on the day of judgment.